<laughs> and what you're doing right now, you're beating the shit out of me with experience. Good God. Take you sick. Listen, let me, let, me, let me say one thing to you, brother. I didn't beat you. God did. That's, That's right. right. I didn't do anything. I read, I read God's words. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover. This is crazy, y'all. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to a moment. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and wanna meet you. Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature. Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers. Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher. Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you. But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either. What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Ave. Right plane, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. God says he know you're not the Jew. You are of the synagogue of Satan. That's who you are. You're a race of rapists and murderers and thieves and child molesters. Exactly. You're not the real Jew exactly. speaking that Jewish language. That's Yiddish. That's a mixture of a Polish dialect. That ain't the real Jew. That ain't the real Hebrew. Hebrew don't got no vowels like I and O. Hebrew got symbols with hard sounds. Ah, ba, ga, da, ha. All this Lachine and, and Shalom and all that stuff. Ba Mitzvah, that ain't real Hebrew. You're an imposter. Right. You're the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. And Christ will cut your head off when he returns. That's right. Let me get your question, man. What up, sir? Yeah, Go ahead. I guess, you know, yeah. I dig some of this shit that you spit. Uh huh. But my Not me, but this is the Bible. No, 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 the, no, the other shit. Like, uh, God, I can't. That's the Bible. Right. Everything I said is the Bible. Right. No, my question is question. why are you going about black militancy like this? Because that's the Bible. No, 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 no. Give me, give no, me Luke 19 and 27. Bible. Apart from the Bible. Okay. No, I, I'm not going apart from the Bible. That's right. Thank you. So explain yeah. why you're using black militancy in a place, in a, in a way like this. Because that's the Bible. That's right. Have you read you, You're telling me away from the Bible. Could you go to Kobe Bryant and say, prove to me you're a basketballer without the basketball? Ah. Yeah, you can. How? How is he going to prove to you he's a basketballer without the ball? So Kobe Bryant does he need a basketball to prove he's a basketballer? No, he doesn't. So how will I know he's a basketballer? Literally anybody can be a basketballer. You simple. You simple. You're a simple dude. You're a simple dude. No, simple means stupid. It's means base. You simple. If this is his profession, if you're a sniper, you're gonna need a sniper rifle to prove to me you're a sniper. If you're a teacher, you're going to need a class full of students and an education curriculum to prove to me you're a teacher. If you're a basketballer, you're going to need a basketball and a rim, at least a rim, or just the ball to show me you're a player. You ask me why am I using black militancy in this way, I'm telling you, black militancy is the Bible. You learn Christianity, not, not particularly you, but your understanding of the Bible comes from the Christian church which is soft and nice. effeminate. That's why they got flowers in there. That's why the preacher got his hair slicked back and wear a suit. Because he trying to appeal to women. He ain't trying to appeal to no men. Men are masculine and by nature militant. That's why when daddy's home, children straighten up. And when daddy ain't home, the house is a mess. Black militancy is the Bible. Black supremacy 
is the Bible. And I can show it to you if you want. Amen. I mean, if you can pull a specific verse, I'd be more than pleased to listen. No problem. Look up austere. Give me Luke 19 and 27. This is Luke chapter 19 and 27. But those my enemies. Right, this is written in red. You know the Bible, right? Right. Old Testament or New? The Bible. There's no difference. Old Testament, there There's is no new. difference. There is See, that's why you you coming up here, you you coming up to their masters and, and doctorate degree level, and you ain't even get your your, your GED. Ah, uh, exactly. There's no difference. The there Bible is, is one clear, solid book. The Bible is one solid book. You learned. Who told you there was a difference? Where did, where did you learn that from? Well, no, just tell me, where did you learn there was a difference between the Old and the New Testament? My pastor. My former pastor. I know, pastor. I know. And where your pastor learned that from? Theology school from white people. You think I could go divide America's constitution and say the amendments are separate from the original written constitution? Oh, they are. No, they're not separate. It's all one document. It's all one document. And they call it their constitution. I can't separate their constitution. Why the hell are you trying to separate mine? What's the Old Testament? It's the Bible. It's the Word of God. It's not the Word of God. The Bible is not the Word of God. You simple. You simple. Give me Luke 19 and 27. You simple. But those my enemies, which were not, I should reign over them. Right, this is written in red, which means Christ said these words. Right, and read it again from the top. Tell them where you at. Luke 19 and 27. But those my enemies. Those my who? My enemies. My who? My enemies. Christ had enemies. That's why they killed him. Not everybody loved Christ. In fact, most people didn't because he spoke such a hard truth. They didn't love him. That's why they murdered him. He had enemies. Go ahead. Which were not that I should reign over them. Those are his enemies who don't want Christ to rule. Christ wants to rule this earth. That's right. That was his God-given right from his father, God, to rule this earth. And some people don't want him to rule. T.D. J. Streflo Dollar, Martin Luther King, they don't want Christ to rule. Louis Farrakhan, they don't want Christ to rule. All your Christian preachers, they don't want Christ to rule. I'm going to tell you something. Your president doesn't want Christ to rule. Your mayors don't want Christ to rule, your congressmen. Right. Christ wants to rule. And some people don't want him to rule. Read. Bring hither. He said what? Bring hither. Uh-huh. And slay them before me. Uh-huh. He said, bring them here and slay them before me. That's what Christ said. Right. No, that's black militancy. Right. That's, that's, that's militant. He gave an order. Give me Luke 19 and 21. Luke 19 verse 21 For I fear thee Verse 20 And another came saying Lord behold Here is thy pound which I have kept Laid up in a napkin For I fear thee right, This is the parable of the talents And Christ is he is aligning himself And saying when he returns He expects certain things to be multiplied He gave us this truth This whole bible He gave it to us and he wants us to go and bring the lost 12 tribes of Israel back together. And some of our leaders are lazy bastards. And they keep it to themselves and they wax rich while we suffer and die. And when Christ comes back, they said, listen, I kept this here. I kept this here. Why? Read it again. For I fear thee. For I what? I fear thee. For I what? Fear thee. Yeah, your Christian preachers don't fear Christ. That, they, don't, they don't tell you that. Right. They don't teach that in the church. Christ is the type of man you fear. He, that's the type of spirit he got. That's right. Now you fear him. Go ahead. Because thou art an austere man. What did he say about Christ? Because thou art an austere man. What did he say about Jesus Christ? Thou art an austere man. Because thou art an austere man. Keep going. Thou takest up that thou layest down. Again. Thou takest up that thou layest not down. Thou takest up what you did not put down. Meaning what? You could plan something, Christ will come and take it. That's militant. Now let me ask you a question. What does the word austere mean? He said, he said right here, I fear thee because thou art an austere man. What does austere mean? I can't tell you off the top of my head. Well, you're supposed to know, man. You, you're trying to tell me it's two different books and you don't even know what the words in the book mean? That's, that's ridiculous, brother. I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to attack you. I'm telling you out of love. I'm going to tell you what austere means. You got it? Right? Give me austere. Give me it real quick. Luke 19 and 21. Go ahead. 
Austere, severe, what? Severe, what? Severe. That's a synonym of militant. Opposite of Christian, right. severe. Revelation said, I would, I wish that you were hot or cold, right. not lukewarm, meaning extreme. Right. You've got to be extreme to serve Christ, especially in this kingdom. Read. Or strict. Or what? Or strict. Or what? Or strict. The Bible says Christ was severe and strict. Right. Go ahead. In manner. In what? In manner. In his ways. Attitude. In his attitude or appearance. And his appearance. Christ was not That's punk. right. Christ was far from your Christian preachers. Yes, right. And let me tell you something, brother. Your Christian preacher, I don't know him, but he is alive. I'm not even Christian. He's alive. But, but you said you learned from a pastor. I did. Right. That was many years ago. I'm telling you, he was alive. I'm telling you, he was alive. Go ahead. So we, we both agree that Jesus Christ was a black man. Yes. We agree. Not, not African. Not African, but black. A so-called Negro. Yeah. Yes. So that's that's some that's that's the only common ground that we have. Uh, now we have we have way more common ground than that, brother. Right. Trust, and trust. and let me tell you something. Because of because of the Christianity that you think is not in you, you be listening to that. Let somebody shoot. Let somebody black shoot anybody up the block. Me and you are both suspects. No, no, I'm fucking him. We we we, we, right. we got more common ground than just Christ right. being black. Right. We got 400 years of goddamn history, and you trying to negate that right. over Definitely. over an argument? Right. Brother, that's Christian. Right. That's Christian. We got way more common ground than just Christ being black. And Christ being black is such an, such an important fact for black people to know. It's such an important fact. We got way more. The problem is you've been taught wrong, and you think what you've been taught, whether it's from that pastor or on your own, is true, and it's not true. And I don't know what you know, but I know it's Christian. Excuse me. Like, uh -huh. but like, but like, don't mind all these people around us. Listen, like, you, you yeah, got to tell I me. I know exactly. I know exactly the kind of shit. But I know exactly the kind of fucked up system that we live in. The one that's stacked against us, right? Uh huh. But the thing that you shouldn't be doing, and I hate the police. Other the, 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 the thing that you think we shouldn't be doing. Right. Uh huh. This is just me. I say F15 or more. This. Young, using the way that the white, using the exact way that white people use to subjugate us and our brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. I ain't with that shit. Am I lynching anybody? You may not be lynching. Am I lynching anybody? No, no, situation. yes or no? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you mean to tell me evangelicals enslaved black people? Yeah, they did. No. Yes, they did. Criminals you know enslaved black no. people. You know. Whips and chains and being set on one second, brother. I'm gonna come to you. One second. Right. Being set on fire enslaved black people. The Arabs, the Jewish man, the Africans, and the white man enslaved black people. That evangelical thing you talking came about a hundred years later. I didn't know Christ was black. I didn't, because it says it in the Bible, Revelations 1, 13 through 15. You can check it out. Revelations chapter 1, verses, start at 1, read 1, then skip to 13 and 15. The whole book is about Jesus Christ. That's right. so you said I'm using the same tactics. Let me tell you something. I am not lynching anybody out here. I am not setting anybody on fire. I am not hiring anybody from the light pole. I am not raping anybody's woman. I am not selling anybody's babies. Right. You are wrong to come up here and say, we are using the same tactics as our slave master. Right. We are not using the same tactics as right. our slave master. Right. We are using the tactics God said to you. Right. Give me 1 Corinthians 20, man. Give me the foolishness of preaching real quick. Give me the foolishness of preaching real quick. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20, 10 and 21. That's a damn lie, man. That's the Christianity in you. So tell me how evangelical and criminal ain't synonymous. In any they, definition. Because the evangelical held this book in their hand and lied to us. Them criminals that put our forefathers on ships were murderers and rapists. They didn't hold no book in their hand. They knocked us over the head, whipped our backs into submission. You don't know your history. No, 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 no. Don't do him that. Don't do him that. Don't do him that. He gonna learn like everybody else. That's right. This is a class. I ain't gonna allow nobody to belittle nobody else. 
He go learn. Don't tell him to walk away. Don't tell him to walk away and don't tell him he's embarrassing himself. Because this, no, he's not. This year is the most love you gonna see between two black men without us killing each other and disagreeing. Do not tell him to walk away. Don't tell him to walk away. Don't, no, it's a disagreement with my brother. Do not tell him to walk away. Give me first Corinthians, I appreciate that, sis. I appreciate that. Give me first Corinthians 10 and 21. You got it, foolishness of preaching, that's it? First Corinthians 10, 10, 10 and 21. You got it? Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. It's first Corinthians chapter 10 and 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord. No, that's not it. Give me first, one and 21, come on. First Corinthians 1 and 21. For after that, in, for after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Right after that, in the wisdom of God, this world by its wisdom does not know God. Right. You up in them churches and them theological schools, you up in Islam, you up in the white man's schools, and you don't know God though you study him. Right. I watched a two hour documentary last night on, on, on a white rabbi trying to find the lost 12 tribes of Israel from every nation but blacks and Hispanics. Right. He went to the East Indians, the Chinese, the Polynesians, everybody else. With all their wisdom, they don't know God. Keep reading. Come on. For all the wisdom knew, knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching. It did what with God? Please God. It what? Please God. It pleased God. Go ahead. By the foolishness of preaching. By what? Foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. It pleased God by the foolishness of our preaching to save those that believe. You looking at us and saying, I, one thing I think you're doing wrong, one thing, everybody, you know the first one, they all look at us like we foolish. Ain't no sweat. God said by the foolishness of this preaching, this kingdom will burn. And I want to see it happen. By the foolishness of preaching, Christ go bathe the streets of America in the blood of this white man, in the blood of our oppressor. And I will keep speaking until ain't no more air in my lungs. Because that's what God said. Now you tell me, who should I listen to? God or man? Who? 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 That's a difficult question. Listen, that's fine. You don't have to. You're going to be buried when, he, when Christ returns. You don't have to get down with God. You're going to lose your head like everybody else. You're going to go in the ground and you're going to come back in the reincarnation like everybody else. You don't have to get down with God. Ain't nobody trying to make you get down with God. Go get you should obey God, man. You got a whole lot of unlearning to do before you can learn this. You got a whole lot of unlearning. God was some of that unlearning that I did. Say again. God is that unlearning that I did. God is the unlearning that you did. I don't know who you're listening to. God, I don't know if you. I don't know if you get high. Police worship, all that shit down the shit, man. Yeah, you see how you put it together? Because you believe in Christianity. I'm trying to tell you, I'm, I'm helping you out. You said God, white supremacy and the police brutality, put all that shit down the toilet. Police worship, not brutality. Police worship, what are you talking about? I, explain that to me. Oh, wait, sorry. So, so you are not. Uh huh. All of a sudden, you see all that? And in all this Blue Lives Matter shit, Blue right. Lives Matter, an entire culture of enthusiastic police worship came out of us asking not to be killed over the smallest things. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. But understand, that came from police brutality. What you say is police worship is a symptom of police brutality. Right. The real problem is police brutality. Exactly. If that stops, we wouldn't have to ask for justice exactly. and nobody would vilify the cops. The entire, but they don't the stop. anti-black sentiment of the United States, bro. It's Listen, like you said, I agree like with you. Listen, that's why I told you we have a lot more in common than just Christ that's being black. Right. Yeah, I agree with you. The police force comes from what? Your slave patrols, right. slavery. So I agree with you. But I'm trying to tell you what you identifying is just the symptom. In here, let me tell you something. Command, let me tell you something. Hold on one second, brother. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, hold your point. I want to hear you. Hold your point. Hold your point. Commanding General Harlow, who's in charge of this school, he taught us to laser focus in on the root of the problem and not the symptoms. 
The symptoms is everything else. The police brutality is real serious, but that's not the root of the problem. Social injustice is serious. That's not the root of the problem. Incarceration, drug addiction, pushing drugs on us. That's serious. That's not the root of the problem. The root of the problem is the white man is the devil. That's right. Jesus Christ is black. We the real Jews and we need to separate from him. That's right. That's the real root. Integration into this society is why we suffer the way we do. Not obeying God's laws in this society is why we suffer the way we do. We obey God and separate, this separate, this place will fall. Just like Egypt fell, just like Rome fell, just like Greeks fell. This place is falling right now. It's falling right now. And that's no fault of that's no fault of ours. It is a fault of ours. It definitely isn't. Yes, because you know we why? You know what? Let me tell you why. We're waking up. Our we people taken, are waking up. We were taken from I'm our coming homeland. to your content. Hold on one second. We were taken from our homeland. Right. For centuries. Right. Our, our, like all of our cultures were erased. Uh huh. Hundreds, thousands. Of not, not all. Not all. No, hundreds, thousands of cultures were our, erased. Our culture is not. Not all of it is erased. It's right here. It's right here. Black people manage. It's right, right here. It's right here. Black people manage. Right it's all. It's culture and heritage from the, from the ashes of what the white man left us. No, 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 no. So we listen. The Bible says. The Bible says the earth in Revelation. The Bible said the earth will help the woman. In Revelation, that woman is 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 um is the is symbolic of Israel, and the earth has helped us. Our records was kept not by the white man, but by God until the last days. It's written in the book of Daniel. The book was sealed until the last days. That's what we out here to do to spill this knowledge onto the earth like a, like water out of a bucket. Spill it and flood it everywhere. So every black, Hispanic, and native Indian man, woman, and child can hear it and wake up. And as they hear it, this place will start falling. It's falling right now. It's written in the Bible. I'll show it to you. Give me Matthew 24. It's falling right now. What's written in Matthew 24 is going on right now in the earth. And that was written 2,000 years ago. You can't tell me ain't no Old Testament and New Testament. There's one book, the Word of God. Start at verse 3. Tell them where you at. This is Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, uh -huh. saying, Tell us when shall, we, when shall these things be, uh -huh. and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? The disciples asked Christ, When shall be the sign of his coming and the end of the world? It's letting you know two things. The return of Christ is synonymous with the end of the world. Right. And the world is not talking about the earth. World in Greek is cosmos. It means age or society. There's a certain society God loves. There's a certain society he hates. He hates the society of America. And this, when Christ returns, it's going to be the end of our oppressor's world. And they're asking him, when will this be? Keep going. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. He said, be careful that no man deceive you. And Martin Luther King done deceived us. Creflo, Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Farrakhan, they done deceived us. Right. Go ahead. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. For many shall come in his name, saying, I am Christ. I got the way. This is the way. That old Jim Jones, he went down to Guyana saying he was Christ. Many shall come and say it, but they ain't going to be teaching out of this book. Read. And shall deceive many. And they're going to deceive many. Go ahead. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. What's going on right now in the news? For two weeks, of, I think DC is still on lockdown, right or wrong? Until it's the, it's done passed. But DC was on lockdown for the first 18 days of this month because of what? Wars and rumors of wars. Because in the last days there would be wars and rumors of wars going on right now. Keep reading. See that ye be not troubled. Don't be troubled. Everybody was, you're uh, all making all kind of meme videos. Iran. I'm not part of that. Don't bomb us. You, we ain't supposed to be troubled. World War III is our salvation. But your Christian preacher is not telling you that. Your religious scholars is not telling you that. I'm going to come to you. Your religious scholars is not telling you that. Read. For all these things must come to pass. For all these things what? Must come to pass. For us to get out of this hell, these things must happen. Keep going. But the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. These are the beginning of it. Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. For what? 
For a nation shall rise against nation. One more time. For a nation shall rise against nation. For a nation shall rise against nation. What is nation? Race. Right. A race going to rise against another race. Race wars is prophesied in the Bible. Right. Read, and that's going on right now. And king. We've been in a race war for the last 400 years. Right. The problem is, we did not know we were at war. We thought we were America. Right. We thought we were African American, Negro, colored. We thought we were part of the society. Meanwhile, they were at war with us. Read. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. The Arab Spring rising up against the European Union. Go ahead. And there shall be famines and pestilences. And there shall be what? Famines. There shall be what? Famines. Famine. Shortage of food. Right. You think you're getting good food in a grocery store? Take it home and leave it in the fridge for two days. You're going to have to throw it out. Because that food ain't no good because there's a famine. But they ain't telling you that. There shall be famine and what? And pestilences. And what? Pestilence. And what? Pestilence. Pestilences. Everybody heard about the coronavirus. Right. The coronavirus. Pestilences. Pestilences. The Zika virus. Ebola. We're living in the last days and it's prophesied right here. Right here. Our records are right here. The problem is we quicker to follow Christianity then listen to a bunch of black men on the corner speaking loud. All right, but well that's the thing. That's the thing. So when I say that black people created their own culture, identity, heritage out of the ashes of what the white man left to us, I'm not going to co-opt the same thing that they used to subjugate us as a part of my identity. Because you don't know the art of war. That's right. That's right. I do. I you don't know I the art of war. You don't know the art of war. Right. If 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 a man punches you in the face, how do you fight back? Say it again. Say it again, sis. You punch him right back. He used a fist. You use a fist. If he got a gun pointed at you, and there's a chance for you to get that gun from him, what are you going to do? Put it down and say, well, I'm not going to use this because it was used to subjugate me. Right, right. So I'm going to put it down. That's too simple. No. That's too simple. That is definitely. Where's wisdom is too high for a fool? Oh, Give me no. Proverbs. God. Where is it? God. Give me Proverbs. Come on. I need them things quick, man. Y'all slowing me down. Come on. Give me, give me Proverbs. Wisdom is too high for a fool. It's that simple, brother. Let me tell you something. pointed at me and I take that gun, and you I'm have... going to use that gun against him. Well, but, a white but, man had but. this book pointed at us lying for yeah, 400 years. To I took this that. book and read it and realized that the white man was the devil. And I'm going to point it right back on him, at him until Christ cuts his head off. Right. Until Christ cuts his head off. But you don't understand it. You got it? You know why you don't understand it, brother? Read. Proverbs chapter 24 and 7. Uh -huh. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Read it again. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Read it one more time. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Well, you don't understand. With, uh, with all our degrees and going to the moon and iPhones and Androids and apps and technology and you could do this, you could turn the lights off in your house right from right here with a, with a phone. Right. We got all kind of wisdom. All kind of wisdom. But we are a ton of fools out here. Read it again. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his not his mouth in the gate. Right. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Right. And he opened not way. his mouth in the gate. That's you why your preachers way. can't right. come on the streets and teach black people. Because black people ain't going for that nonsense. I ask a simple question. If somebody punch you in the face with their fist, what do you do? The sister walking right by, I know she hood as could be. Right. So she might say, I, I could recognize my people. Right. She said, I'm going to punch him right back. That's the art of war. Exactly. You fight fire with fire. Exactly. I ain't trying to save nothing. I ain't trying to put nothing out. I'm hurt? trying to fight fire with fire. Exactly. And they enslaved us. I'm going to obey God until God, Christ delivers them as slaves to me. Right. And that's justice. And that's written in here. I ain't making that up. That's written right here in this book. That's real equality. Do you believe in equality? Yes. Do you believe in equal justice? Yes, What's your idea of equality? My ideal of equality? Yeah. That's really totally <laughs> <laughs> You're really picking my brain here. Come on, listen, we have a, we having a discussion, brother. My Hold on, let me ask good. you. What's your nationality? I ain't even asking that yet. I'm black. What's your father? He's black. From where? 
doesn't really matter. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yes, yes, it does. does. That's what the Bible says. I can show you the numbers 1 and 16. That's what the Bible says. Okay. My mother black, my father black, I, my it, really, it doesn't matter what your, what your mother is. My mother it's, is it's, also black. It doesn't matter what she is. I know you love her, but you are the seed of your father. Men carry seeds, boom. The woman doesn't carry life. Life is in you. She holds the life for nine months and gives it back to you. You are the seed of your father. So what's your nationality? What, what is your father? What is he? Where is, where is he from? You know, Mississippi, California, the islands, Haiti. Where is he from? You want to know where my father's from? I'm going to come to you. He's black. I'm just going to leave it at that. I ain't, well, we ain't sure about you yet. <laughs> Say again? My nigga. My nigga. Go ahead, boy. That's a Judah right there. That's Judah. Go ahead, sis. Oh shit, guess where I'm from? Oh, for real? Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Coca-Cola. You're from Coca-Cola, you're from up north, down yeah. the west. Yeah, I know where you're from. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, you got to you got to shout out who your father is. That's how your inheritance comes. Right. For you to get an inheritance, you got to prove this is my father. Right. It's it's the biblical proof. But anyway, give me what I asked for. This is Isaiah chapter 29. Hold on, no, wait. Answer the question. Right. What's your idea of equality? Right. Skip that some. My Sis, don't do that. Please. Just leave it. Don't, don't, don't. Please you know stop mouthing up. I know y'all Trinity women. Y'all you know I mean? don't stop your mouth. You stop, up. stop it, please. Bless Come on. Bless up. Come on, brother. Let's get it. Equal reward, equal punishment. Equal reward and equal punishment. Give him a hand. That was a lot better than what I thought. Well, listen. Most Christians say for us to be treated the same as white people and be the same. I don't want to be the same as them. Real equality is, me and my people were slaves for 400 years, they and their people got to be slaves for 400 years. They and their people were slave masters for 400 years, built the greatest empire on our backs. I want a chance to build a kingdom on their backs. I got dreams too. You should see some of the design for buildings in my head, brother, it'll blow your mind. I want a building sideways, straight sideways. <laughs> Sideways, brother. I'm gonna call it the lead. I'm gonna call it the lead. I'm a, but hold on, hold on. That's real justice. Now we equal. Now I get to be the slave master. You get to be the slave. We trade places, and that's in the Bible. Read. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Surely the turning of things upside down will be esteemed as the potter's clay. Right. This place got to be flipped upside down, man. It got to be. For real justice, the first must be last, and the last shall be first. That's, right. That's what a real good father does. Father got a ton of children. The oldest is always going to get the best and take everything because he's bigger and stronger than everybody else. Right. One day, the father got to come and say, nah, you eat last. Right. Let them open the Cheerios. Let them get a chance on the game. You've been playing K um two, two I go to say K two. You've been playing you've been playing K two for the whole game. Now 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 you got to you got to switch and let your little brothers play. There ain't no sweat. White man, we want real justice and equality. We served you for four hundred years. I want you to serve me for four hundred years. Your forefathers sold my um grandparents to plantations and split up families. Brother, my soul, my one of my soul desires is to ride an enormous horse. I'm not talking about them race horses and them police horses. I'm talking about them horses where them, the, the hoof is big like this and it's shaggy. They look like mountain horses, they pull logs. I wanna get one of those and ride to a white man plantation and knock on a barn door because they're gonna be sleeping in the barns just like us. And look for the first white woman I see with her baby and her husband is going to come and say, please, please, nigga, please. I want you to call me nigga, too. Don't call me nothing else. Master nigga, senior nigga, king nigga. Please, he's only two days old. I understand. I'll make sure you see him again. And rip the babies from her breast. Put him in a box, ball holes in the box so he don't die. And ship him, because like, where you want? Brazil? Australia? Wherever he's in charge of, I'm going to ship that baby there. That's what I want. You know why? I want her to feel what my foremothers felt That's right. when they felt that empty feeling of not having their baby. Right. Where's my child? Is they alive? That's equality. 
I want you to get postpartum depression for 400 years. Thank yeah, you right. white woman can't take that. That drink too strong. Right, right. I see she look at me and she walk off. I must be the most horrible man. You set the trend. The Bible say, surely you must reap what you sow. You sold our babies. When Christ come back, I'm putting yours on eBay. <laughs> Put in yours on Etsy. That's right. On Wish. On Wish. <laughs> <laughs> wish, <laughs> wish is for the Down Syndrome ones. You, you know, Wish. Wish don't never give you the right one. I'm going to put Justin Bieber face up, and they, they go get the thing from uh, from the Goonies. <laughs> they go open the box and say, Hey, you go. <laughs> what was that verse you said about fools and wisdom? That's First Corinthians 1 and 20. Okay. So, I got some wisdom because I gotta get, I got I really gotta get the hell out of here. In the same manner you read that mm -hmm. verse, I want everybody standing here right now to have some introspection after I say this. Fools will pull you down to their level and beat you with experience. And what you're doing right now, you're beating the shit out of me with experience. Good God. <laughs> Take a Listen, let me, let, me, let me say one thing to you, brother. I didn't beat you, God did. That's, That's right. right. I didn't do anything. I read, I read God's words. BK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, y'all. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came in Israelite school of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to a moment. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if your Nas a Jigga ain't wanna meet ya Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach ya But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPA 51st Annual Pass Over Baby. Me. More updates no will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. If you're a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian male, and you want to participate in Hebrew Academy 2021, contact the nearest camp leader in your city to see if you got what it takes to be a soldier in the Army of Christ under Commanding General Yohan. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover.